I start my day off with a smoothie that includes my greens plus. I also take my Bell Herbalist pills as well as my omega-3s at that time. If I wash my face in the morning, I use my olive oil enriched soap bar. Every other day or so, I add some baking soda to it for an exfoliator. I use Jason's Vitamin E enriched cream as my daily facial cream. And then throughout the day, I walk around with my chia seeds and I add them to all my foods for enhanced fiber. And then at night when I come home, I add flaxseed oil to whatever my dinner is. So thankfully, uh, I went the natural route. And I don't want to say thankfully, thankfully, because it's been tough. It's not uh, the most enjoyable route to take. But not only has my skin cleared up, but I feel like my hair has got a lot more moisture in it. Um, I feel like I'm in a lot better shape. And just I have more energy. I don't have to sleep as much. But boy, let me tell you, every time that I walk by a poutinery, or I see a cupcake or go to a birthday party and they're cutting that bad boy up, my insides start to fire in ways that a boy can't even do for me. But I don't know why we're talking about my sex life. <laughs> it's not even remotely the point of this video. First thing I have to talk about is my bell pills. I'm on jar number two because jar number one is finito. Bye, boo. Uh, these pills were amazing. They are Bell Master Herbalists uh, for acne, psoriasis, and eczema. You can buy them at your natural health food store. They're pretty much available everywhere. A lot of people have been asking me about this on Twitter and everywhere else, you know, if it worked for me. I think it made a huge difference. Uh, I, as I mentioned, I had a lot of clogged pores, a lot of whiteheads, blackheads that eventually turned into like inflamed pores to pimples. This cleared all that up. So I just, in general, have a lot smoother skin. I can't say I don't get outbreaks still, but mind you, I'm not taking these as prescribed or as directed here. I take one a day, and they suggest you take up to like four a day, you know, two per meal. And I just didn't do that because I'm cheap, and these are like 40 bucks. So I take one a day, and the results are, are good enough. Also, as I told you guys, back in January when I went to my natural food health store, I had a little chat with the nutritionist there, and she had some information for me. It turns out that so much of what she said was absolutely accurate. I went on a few websites, and I typed in, you know, tips to healthy skin, and all of them suggested that you put more fiber in your diet, which is what my chia seeds do. And if you guys know me at all, I always walk with my freaking chia seeds like in a bag, and I pour it on food. Like I don't miss a meal without putting some fiber in it, and I love this stuff so much. Also, it talks about good fats. Um, a la flaxseed oil. And flaxseed oil, if you look this up, is incredible. And I add flaxseed oil at home to any meals that I make. Um, I don't usually cook it or fry it. I just sort of add it on top afterwards. I also invested in some omega-3 pills. This is like the beauty pill. It's called Omega-3 Glow. I just love these pills. Actually, I can't say that. I just got it recently because it was on sale. So I got it for like $8 and I was like, glow. I want to be glowing. So I got them and I like it. And if you look up Omega-3, you'll see a wealth of great reviews from it, rave reviews. Everybody loves it from Barbara Strauss and to Oprah Winfrey to Charles Manson so get these pills. But topically what I add to my skin I might get emotional talking about this because I I just wish I could attach some legs and a third thing in the middle and call this a man and marry it. I love this thing so much it is the best soap I've ever had before and I actually went to a natural soap maker she's like a community she's like a little Keebler elf she has her own shop and um, she's actually pretty short actually talk about it. Uh, and she makes her own soaps by hand. And this one I asked her, you know, do you have any black soap? Which she did. She gave me black soap. I should actually have it on hand. But she said that there's a certain butter that's supposed to be used that's from Africa. I believe it's Ghana. That is what the active ingredient in this black soap is. And she didn't have that specific kind of butter. She used a different uh, replacement. So she wasn't sure if this would be any help. So I haven't tried it as yet. Because she also gave me this olive oil enriched bar. And this has been amazing. You know, usually when you wash your face, like you cannot crack a smile or sneeze out your whole face just bleeding because you're so dry afterwards. I can literally wash my face with this and not have to put on any cream at all. It's a really greasy bar. It's great. I love it. Oh, I should also bring my thing. I cannot talk about how I exfoliate without giving it up to you guys, our subscribers. Yo, our subscribers are just so smart. Like, it impresses me beyond belief how much you guys know and how helpful you have been in so many facets of my life. And the most amazing tip I got was to do natural exfoliators with baking soda. Basically, and because my beauty bar, the olive oil one, is pretty greasy, I just, you know, lather this a bit, I add some baking soda into the mix, so I have a little paste almost, and I exfoliate with that. And my skin feels so good afterwards. It is like, ugh, ugh. 
Ugh. In addition, if you go to Walmart, you can pick yourself up one of these bad boys. Um, it's a face buffer. It was like a dollar, I think. And this is a great thing as well, too. It's kind of like a Brillo pad effect, like an SOS thing for your washer. You just wash your face with that. And that also has been great for helping my skin be smoother. I have noticed a lot less blackheads, a lot less clogged pores. And dry skin as well, too, is sort of a thing of the past for me, if I do say so myself. So I definitely have to, I don't know who suggested the baking soda thing to me, but whoever...